<clears throat> Let's clear that throat. Well, hello and welcome back to my channel, everybody. If you guys are new here, my name is Nish and I make reactions here on YouTube. And today we're going to be continuing on our Junior Eurovision 2024 series that will be going ahead in the city of Madrid, Spain on the 16th of November. And we have already started looking at some national selections that are going ahead this weekend. We have the Netherlands, we have Malta, and we have Ukraine. I have looked at the Netherlands and the Maltese national selection. So if you have not checked that out, click the link above here. You get to see that in my little Junior Eurovision playlist. The other one that is going ahead this weekend is of course Ukraine's Vidbeer Junior. I think that's what it's called, or it's just called the Junior Eurovision 2024 selection. Ukraine. Last year, of course, we had the beautiful Anastasia going forward to represent Ukraine in Junior Eurovision and she had the song Kvitka. It did quite well, it came fifth place. Let's be honest, Ukraine is a stronghold in this contest as a whole and they've not really failed me. We have six participants going ahead this weekend. I am going to go ahead and see all of these right now and hopefully we can get a gist of what Ukraine has got to offer for this year's Junior Eurovision 2024 but before we do so please do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel over here click that notification bell down there so you don't miss any of my content and follow me over on Instagram it is Anush101 okay let's start with this one this is unbelievable by Anastasia Woohoo. Ooh, little bunker action here. Oh. Reggaeton. Okay. Oh, she can move. Oh, these angles. Nice beats. Ooh. This needs to go up not really anything negative to say melody wise it isn't anything too unique though i will say that although she as a talent is doing an amazing job right now and i feel like she would fit the bill very very well in that aspect it doesn't really sound very ukrainian and i do like that about ukraine's entries so let's keep going and see where this goes i mean i'm bopping Love these jeans and the gems. Okay, this chorus is catchy. Yeah. Oh, we've got, come somewhere else now. Nice little breakdown. Um, she's so charismatic. It's hard for me not to watch her and like be glued by her movements. Ooh! Oh, she looks great! The chorus is catchy enough. She can dance really good. She looks amazing. But I do want to see what else is out there because I'm not getting a winning vibe from this from the get go. However, it could be staged amazingly, and I feel like Ukraine's good at that, so who knows? Angelina Glogus with Plashu, Jan Holly with Angels Cry, I believe. Oh, she's beautiful as well. There's eyes. Oh, got ballad. Where did this come from? <laughs> I thought we were gonna have a foot on ballad. Okay. Why does this sound so familiar? Bit of weekend. Na, 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 na. Blinding lights, is that the one? Yes. The way that blinding lights like progresses. That's kind of what it reminds me of. Anyway, completely sidetracked myself there. the tempo of that. 
Mm. Her vocals are really good too. Okay. I feel like I want it to go a bit more punchy in this last bit. I mean, she's got stage presence, that's for sure. Ooh. I like this ooh, ooh bit. I really like that little bit of that melody. There's something quite nostalgic about it. I'm not too sure what it is. I don't think this is a winning song again. It's just not quite to the level I'm wanting right now, I think. Anyway, let's keep going. This is Zlata Ivanov with Naimsto, which means necklace. Oh, the outfit. Ooh. Hold on, before I proceed, I think that was another thing that I was missing from the last one, the, tra the tradition. And I'm already getting that with this, so I highly appreciate that. Ooh. Ooh, I'm getting tribal vibes. Hand movements. I already know this. Great voice. She's even got a bit of attitude there. The work the camera girl. That bit is so good. Oh, belt it. Oh, she did. <laughs> power in this all oh, the production with like the flute in the back as well love that here's the English part I was wondering where that was gonna come in oh, this is going in so many places okay okay goosebumps goosebumps And it's catchy. Na, 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 na. Woo, and I can't even sing that high, but. Yeah, I'm 100% sold on that one. <laughs> it just had all the right elements, the tradition, the vocals, the, the look, the ability to go on camera and really grab the audience's attention. She is doing that. And it's catchy, it's memorable. Yeah, I think I actually already said that. So yeah, let us see what else is the competition because so far, it's pretty good. That's, that's pretty up there for me. Next one is Veronica Kogan with Harmony. I was gonna say, is this a ballad? The name Harmony normally is. Watch me be so wrong. <laughs> Speaking of attitude, she's got that. Okay. Okay. I think this is a bit too trappy slow for me, but that's just a personal preference thing. Like, I'm not someone that would download this because of that. We're already halfway through and it's not quite grabbing me, unfortunately, but she looks amazing. She's got the attitude, she's got the talent again, but it it's just the song so far. that's not grabbing me quite the way I really want to. And again, I need some kind of tradition, I think, from Ukraine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just me. Yeah. 
It's not quite catchy enough, is it? Oh, this bit's cool though. Visually. I like those jumps. Yeah, maybe this is a staging song. Like, it's not horrific, I'm bopping along, but that's all I'm doing. I'm blessed that. I feel bad every time I say anything a bit negative with this contest because you can never do what they're doing, to be quite honest with you. I mean, can you? No. Yeah, it just, it didn't hit. I'm afraid it did not hit. Anyway, let us move on. Next one I'm going to look at is Artem Kotenko with Dim. Which is our penultimate song today. Please bring some tradition. Ooh. Not so much tradition, but definitely Eurovision. Yeah, very Eurovision. Okay. That vocal is like he was born to be in this contest already. <laughs> nice beat. It's flamboyant. And we love that. Ooh. Ooh, power there. Beep, beep, beep. Catchy. Ooh. Definitely has that Eurovision sound, doesn't it? Melody wise. Okay, now it's drum and bassy. Okay. Whoa! Like, we've got so many elements to this, it is not stopping in one place. It's keeping me hooked. He is absolutely like grabbing my attention and anyone that loves this contest will love this, I think. We still love something that sounds like this contest because it gives us that nostalgia aspect. Anyway, let's keep going. We're not finished yet. There's still more. There's still more. These movements! Oh, I love that bit! It's a little bit tradition in this. Tiny, tiny bit. Whoa! Okay! I mean, that was a performance, was it not? Not saying the others weren't. But I'm wowed by that. And maybe, again, this is just me, but... That is also up there for me. Okay, I think we have our last song here, which is Ilya Konovchenko, Konovchenko with Spaceship. Okay, are we gonna end off with a bang? Okay, groovy. Okay. Ooh, that cowbell. That's nice. I've got to say, a minute into this, it is a little bit dated, isn't it? It's just, it's not the production that we quite want. There are some really nice elements so far, but... And yeah, it's funky, it's groovy. I like a bit of that. But after what we've just seen, I just don't know if it's on that level, you know? Like, I need wow. I don't know if this is where I mean quite yet. But let's give it another chance. We have two minutes left. Like, he's got really good, like, raps. What, what do you call it? Rap singing? I don't know. Spaceship. It's relatively catchy. I will give it that. And it's fun. It is fun. He's bloody adorable. 
Like, look at these glasses. <laughs> ooh, ooh, that's nice. Ooh. Oh, oh, this bit's nice. The percussions. Okay, that's a bit of a crowd pleaser right there. I'm not hating on this. <laughs> Spaceship. Mm, no, it's gonna get stuck in my head, isn't it? I still am not gonna go back from what I said or turn away from what I said about this being just a little bit dated and not quite unique enough for what we need in this year's Junior Eurovision coming from Ukraine. Overall, a pretty good selection. Would I say it's the strongest one that I've seen so far? I actually think Malta's overall was stronger than this. However, I will say there's two songs here that I could definitely see doing very, very well in this contest, even being, I think, top five, if they were to be picked. Zlata Ivanov with Necklace. I just absolutely love this. Just from the beginning to the end, I could not stop watching her. And I don't even think I paused the video, did I? <laughs> like, I was hooked. I think it's got everything like I mentioned before, the tradition, the outfit, the voice, the uniqueness. Again, this just stands out to me. And I think she already is giving us a music video pretty much. And it hasn't even been revamped. The staging hasn't been put in order yet with this either. Like if it was to be picked, imagine the level of what this could be. So I think this has a very, very good chance of doing, as I said, top five, even potentially winning, of course. We need to see what else is coming our way. No songs have actually been picked yet. This definitely has potential in my eyes. But on the contrary, there is another song here. That was by Artem Kotenko with Dim. From the beginning, this was quite wow. And it ended wow as well. In fact, I don't even know what my favorite would be because I, I think it could be Artem. It didn't have the tradition as much as I would have hoped for, however, just feels like it fits very very well and have we seen a uh, male coming from ukraine like in a while no alexander was the last male that ukraine sent in 2020 so it would be nice to have a male figure this year and yeah just his stage presence as well with this was fantastic and just like zlata i think that artem's performance can only be made better with staging i'd be very happy for either one of those two to get picked the other songs however amazing and talented these beautiful kids are i just don't think are strong enough to do that and fit the bill and yeah i would love to see them return to this contest maybe in the adult contest in the future see them somewhere else and at the end of the day that was just my opinion with my personal taste i'm sure yours is very different so please let me know what you thought of ukraine's junior eurovision 2024 selection down in the comment section below i'm gonna go and i'll see you very very soon Bye bye